So after retiring from the banking industry, you took a, took a year out traveling. Is that just a case of uh, well-earned time off? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not scared to admit it. You know, after seven, seven and a half years, I was very burnt out. Hmm. You know, but and I felt like I deserved a break. You know, when I, I grew up in Liverpool, left from Liverpool when I was 18 to go to Manchester University, went to university for three years, was hired by Goldman in my final year for nine months' time. After my final exam, which was, I still remember the date, June the 12th, three weeks later, I was on a plane to New York and I was working for Goldman. So, uh, you know, and then you have two weeks' holiday a year. So I'd never had a break. I'd never seen the world. So I wanted to go and do that and take a break and then reassess whilst, you know, I, I also thought the market was going down. So <laughs> being short in that situation when everyone's long, you don't get paid at these places. So it's a waste of time. So, uh, you know, offered to go back into the industry by a few places, but declined. Sold my property in London and got on a plane around the world for 14 months with one bag of clothes. <laughs> so your, your next venture was working on BBC programme Million Dollar Traders. Ooh. How did that come about? Uh, I was sitting on a beach in Brazil. Uh, drinking a caipirinha and got a phone call from a guy I used to work with at Goldman Sachs who had come up with the idea and the concept, uh, Lex Van Damme. And uh, he literally point blank asked me, do you want to get involved in the TV program? At this stage, believe it or not, uh, traveling around the world, this was like 13 months down the line, traveling around the world, seeing jungles, cities, beaches and bumming around for 13 months gets a little bit boring. <laughs> the grass is always greener, right? But um, I was bored. So, you know, this situation was literally uh, a good stepping stone to come back into the Western world after you've been away for so long. You know, just come back, put yourself out there. And, you know, I liked the, the concept of it. Um, the idea that if we trained people and gave them a couple of weeks training and then gave them a million dollars and just let them loose on the market whilst the market environment was the worst it's ever been. <laughs> yeah. um, we'd probably find some pretty interesting results. So, <clears throat> you know, the, the, from the outset, the, the objective of the show really was to show two things. One, that actually anybody can trade if you get the right instruction and you're willing to work a little bit at it and you have the kind of right mindset. That's the first thing, but also that it's actually quite tough. You know, not everybody can do it. So I think, you know, a lot of people in the, in the market, like this gentleman over here, we were discussing the conflict of interest earlier. Due to this conflict of interest in the, the retail broker, brokerage market, you'll get told by a lot of people that anyone can trade. You know, you'll get emails all the time, make $10,000 a month in the international Forex market. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, is that not everyone can do it, and a lot of it is lies. So you have to be very, very careful. Um, so we set, we set out you know, with an objective to prove that people can do it, but in a certain way, but not everyone can do it. And I think it was you know, pretty successful.